basketball. Yeah, that's, that's good for us. You know, with our team, with two Tapoons, you know, we have we have great chemistry. And I think that I think the Bahamas trip helped us out with that. So, you know, that's what we focus on. You know, Coach stresses one more. As in, if someone says one more, you know, you have to hurry up and pass it to them. So, you know, we're just having fun together and, you know, we're winning, so that's good. And you're kind of like the outlet every, every time you're, I mean, it seems like you're just getting the ball, you're already at the free throw line down there. Yeah, you know, Coach just says sprint the floor, so that's what I do. Really just said, you know, the, the biggest thing is when Coach says practices are harder than the games, you know, it's true. Yeah. And it's not you guys just felt fresh. He said it was across the Definitely. board. How weird was it that, you know, instead of a practice, you're only in for, you know, five minute stretches? Something? I felt like, like you said, you know, we felt fresh out there, you know, five minutes in, five minutes out. So, you know, you go in with fresh legs, and that's a lot, that allows us to, like, spread the floor and play hard at all times. Instead of practice, you know, we're competing the whole time, so it wears us down. Devin, were you told that Cal said you have world-class speed when there's two points of it? Um, you know, he joked with me during the game about that, but, you know, he just tells us to sprint the floor, so, you know, that's what I try to focus on. How ready do you have to be, too, when the ball's in Tyler's hands? You always have to be ready, because even if he's not looking at you, he can find you. You know, that's why I like playing with him. You know, he's going to kick it up, because, you know, you know, it just makes it easier on the game, click buckets. Who sense a killer instinct in this team? Definitely. You know, we have so many different weapons that I don't feel like a defense could just focus on one part of the team. So I feel like the two Tapoons is going to, you know, mix it up and, you know, confuse defenses. Do you feel like it's kind of your responsibility to provide some balance? You know, you got a lot of inside weapons. And, I mean, is your outside shooting ability something that this team needs? Uh, I, I, feel, I feel as if it does. You know, we have other shooters, you know, Aaron, you know, Dominic, and um, Derek. But, you know, I just, I just try to... I just try to put myself in the game and just do what I have to do for the team to win. Like, obviously, you know, we have great bigs, so teams are going to double big, so, you know, I'll help them out by making shots. What's it like coming in with five fresh guys um, and you already have a lead? Yeah, it makes it a lot easier on us. You know, I feel like we're going to wear down teams and then, you know, we're going to bring five new people with fresh legs, so, you know, I feel that's going to be tough on them. Did you notice the 30 second shot clock at all? That it was different? I mean, was it different at I all for you? I didn't notice it at all. Because, you know, uh, in high school, in EYBO, that's how we played 30 second shot clock. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think that's like a good thing for this team? I mean, this team doesn't need a, thir doesn't need a 30 second shot clock really to score? Um, like I said, I didn't really notice it. Yeah. So, you know, I guess it is. Did you meet Garth Brooks this, this weekend? Garth, Garth Brooks. Brooks was, was, I didn't know if he, uh, Y'all saw him. No, no. yeah, man. How did it feel to be hitting your shot? I know in the Bahamas you kind yeah. of struggled to yeah. find your range. I felt good. You know, like I said, I want to start off the game, get more things in the paint, so, you know, make it easier on my shot, you know, so I could get it going. And, you know, I felt like that's what it did, so overall it was a good time. Did it frustrate you at all down there? Oh, uh, it's not frustrating because I knew it would eventually come. You know, I've always been told shooters always keep shooting, so that's what I did.